In this video, we'll explore MGML, which is a markup language for creating emails. Now, writing HTML for emails is usually not fun because email clients are not like browsers that let you use all of the HTML tags or load external style sheets. Instead, they are very restrictive in nature and they have a lot of inconsistencies. And this is where MGML comes into the picture. MGML is a markup language that let you write a custom markup which looks like HTML and then compiles it down to HTML that email clients can understand. You can think of it as a preprocessor, like the way we have less stylus and SAS for CSS. MGML is basically for HTML. So let's give it a try by opening their in browser editor. What you see on the left is the MGML markup that they can understand, they can compile. And out here on the right is the compiled HTML, which looks like this. So in this video, I'll show you how you can make use of MGML along with the Adonis JS template engine Edge to design your email templates. All right, so let's get started by creating a new Adonis project and then also install the mail package. All right, let's cd into the project and download the mail package. Once done, let's configure the mail package by running this command. I will choose Mailgun and view the instructions in the browser. So the setup instructions are mainly to validate the environment variables. If you're using the SMTP driver, then make sure you validate these environment variables. I'm using Mailgun, so I'll basically copy this and write it inside env.ts file. Now the next step is to create a mailer so that we can basically test our workflow. I'll say node ace make mailer and we can call it verify email. Cool, it created a mailer inside this file. And this is where we can basically start writing our code. To begin with, let's create an email template and render it using the view engine of Adonis. Begin by writing just HTML inside it. So we can say an H1, hello, and a P. Click here to verify your email address. And finally, we can basically use the HTML here. So we can see HTML, this.html format, the document, right? So what we are basically doing is here we are rendering a view and inside the prepare method, we are telling the message to use the HTML, which is the output of this view.render method as the body of the email. Now to give it a try, we can start the REPL session. So we can say nowadays REPL and we have a helper method called load mailers that will basically load all the mailers to the REPL context. So we can say load mailers. And here it says you can access them using the mailers object. So we can say mailers dot verify email. It is a class, so we need to instantiate it and hold it to a variable. And now we can say email dot HTML. For sure, we do see our rendered HTML over here. Now our next step is to basically make use of MGML and not write vanilla HTML ourselves. So let's go to the documentation and go to installation over here. We can see it's an NPM package, so it's going to be really simple to use it with a node app. So let's copy this and kill our Apple session, install the package. 
Okay, that's done. Now, if we go to do a usage guide, we can see over here that they have a command line interface that we can use in order to basically compile the MGML files into HTML files. Over here, we can see the command. That's the command line binary name. Then we have the input template that we want to compile. And then we give the output path where we want to write the compiled output. Now, pre-processing these templates has one downside. And that is we cannot use edge markup inside these templates. Now, let me actually show it to you what I mean. Let's say I want to write a conditional over here. So I say f user dot full name, and I want to wrap it by saying end if, then have a else statement, and basically copy paste this here. So if the user has a full name, we greet them by saying user dot full name. If they don't have a use full name, then we basically say hello. Now these F blocks are edge markup that MGML has no idea about. And what it does, it basically strips them off. So if you view the HTML, we scroll to the bottom. Over here, you can see we do have our like hello and these curly braces, but our at the rate if tags are missing. So let's imagine we take this file, compile it using their command line interface, write it to an HTML file, but now we don't have our conditionals. That means we cannot pass the runtime data to this file to make it behave properly. And that's why pre-compiling is not an option if you want to couple it with Edge. But what we can do instead is we can actually use their Node.js API and first process the template using Edge and then give that output to MGML. So let's give it a try. What we are going to do is very first, we're going to copy this and paste it inside our verify email template here. The next step is we have to pass in a user. So we can say user full name is my name. All right. And let's start our REPL again. Load all the mailers, instantiate this one. And now we can say email.html and you can see here Edge basically computes this template at runtime using the data that we have passed and returns the same MGML markup back. And now we can give this markup to MGML module because we don't have any runtime data anymore and get the compiled HTML output from it. So let's import the module. We'll see MGML and wrap our code inside it, so MGML, and use the .html property. So let's format the document, all right, and now give it a try again. We need to restart our REPL session. Let's quickly create an instance, and now we can say email.html and we have the final HTML that we want to send as an email. So let's go back to the code and see what exactly we have done. So what we do is we start with this template that has the edge syntax to basically work with the runtime data. And then we have the MGML markup. We want to compute the runtime data and only keep the nodes which satisfy the conditions that our template is using, and then also compile this markup to HTML. So what we do is first, we basically compute our template against the runtime data, and then we give it to MGML. So we basically like reverse the pro process. Instead of pre-compiling using MGML, we do post-compiling at a runtime within our node code. So let's try this process with a real template. Now I'll go to their main website, grab one of the templates from here. How about this one? Let's copy it and paste it to our verify email template. And as we can see, they are using three dynamic uh, references to the first name, referral code, and the company name. So 
number one, I want to convert them to the camel case like this and like this. Now go back to our mailer and basically pass this data from here. All right, and let's give it a try once more. There we go. We load our mailers, we create a new instance, and this time we'll call this method called preview that basically generates a preview link for us so that we can go and view the email inside an in-browser email client. All right, and here's the URL that we can visit. And this is how our email looks like. Finally, let's give it a try with a real email client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my Mailgun API key behind the scenes, and then we will send an email in real. So I'm done configuring my Mailgun credentials. And as a last step, I will basically replace these email addresses with the real ones. And finally, let's kill our REPL session, restart it, and load all the mailers, create a new email instance. And this time, instead of calling the preview method, we will call the send method. Yep, it says that the email has been sent. So here I'm mirroring my mobile email client on my desktop, and the email looks pretty good. 